Hey lots, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna go right into this video. The hair we're gonna be using today's video is from YS Cherry's hair on AliExpress. You guys, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this well, but I'm gonna leave the name on the screen for you guys to see. So they did send me six packs of their pre-twisted passion twist hair with curly and I also got some hair accessories and a crochet pin, you guys. Like I love love this hair this hair is kind of a medium size and it is so so fluffy you guys so this hair is also available in four different lengths 12 80 22 and 28 inches you guys the one i got is in 28 inches and the color is 1b you guys and each pack of hair contains 15 strands that is amazing and I love the size of the uh, twist and it is so so fluffy and it is not heavy at all so right now let's get right into the tutorial video okay so this is the state my hair is right now I took down my cornrows in the morning I'm actually filming this video in the evening so right now I'm just going to take my black Jamaica castor oil to first of all uh moisturize my hair after which i'm going to be applying my uh canto leave-in conditioner just to soften the hair you guys like i do not like how my hair is looking right now the hair just bounced back and uh, i'm finding a way to make sure this work because we're not we're going to be doing the the braidless uh crochet you guys like as you all have seen already on the title so yeah let's find a way to make this work So after detangling my hair, this is how my hair is looking like and I didn't really think it is going to work for me this way knowing that I'm not going to be braiding my hair, especially the front of my hair. So I went ahead and blow dry my hair. Actually, this is the first time I'm blow drying my hair since I went natural. Like, I just felt good at this point. So I'm just, allow I'm just going to allow you to watch through this process and I'm not doing much you guys. So I'm just going to blow dry the hair a little bit just so that my hair uh, will be kind of, you know, easy for me to manipulate. All right. So now I'm through with the blow drying method. I'm just going to go ahead and start patting my hair. Okay, so the front of my hair is going to be like uh, the illusion braid method. We're not actually going to be braiding this hair, so that is just the style. So just keep on watching, you guys. Taking my olive oil edge control, I'm going to be using this to smoothen my part while I part my hair. Okay. Keep on watching. So I'm taking this my Canto Leave-In Conditioner Mist. I'm just gonna spray a little of that into my hair, just because after the blow dry method, my hair is kind of feeling a little dry. So I'm just gonna be using that to moisturize my hair while I part my hair. So taking my rubber band, I went ahead to use it to hold down my hair, then twist the hair and connect it to the other hair as well. Does that make sense? So I didn't have to oil this rubber band because 
the olive oil edge control i used already have a lot of oil so now just connect the braid or connect the hair and twist it down just like i'm doing right here i don't know if i'm explaining this part well but just keep on watching and i know you guys will know what i'm trying to do here So when doing this, you want to make sure you are not over tightening your hair. Just keep on uh, holding the hair down with the rubber band, twist the hair, connect it to the other one and then twist it again. So that is all I did all through the front of my hair and this is how it's all looking like, right? So now taking this my go to be edge control, I'm just going to use this to lay my edges and then tie it down with a wrap strip. Like I always advise when it comes to crochet, you have to check your crochet braid before braiding your hair. Like the size of your crochet braid determine the size of uh, the cornrows or the braid pattern you are going for. All right. So right now I'm just going to be connecting like two braid from uh, the front. I'm going to be connecting them back like this. The first type I use the cornrow method, the second one I use the flat twist method. So the flat twist method, if you do not know how to cornrow, you have to go for the flat twist method, you guys, and everything will still come out perfect. So here, this is how my hair is all looking right, right now, and I went off camera to get the back of my hair done, and this is how it's all looking like. This hair is amazing, and it's true to length, you guys, like, this is 28 inches hair, and it, it feels like it is 30 right so now i'm just gonna show you how i was able to do this so all the details about this hair are down on the description below you guys so make sure you check the description to get the same hair so, take, so taking the hair out of the pack this is how it looks like you guys the colors are so so poppy can you see how this twist is all looking like so here it looks like they twist two strands of hair to, together and right now i'm just going to take out this my hair uh, wrap at the front and i'm going to start by crocheting my hair okay this is not a big deal this is just a, a regular crochet method so some part of the twist that i find too fluffy i'm just going to use my hand and you know re kind of retwist it again so watch me as i do this okay So like I said before, this one was too fluffy for my liking and I went ahead and just retwisted it. I didn't have to unravel the hair. I did not unravel the hair before twisting. I just, you know, kind of retwisted it like that. And yes. So here, as you can see, this um, twist kind of have two strands at the loop area. So what you want to do is take the twist and kind of use your fingertip to twist it so that your loop will be tight when you actually crochet into your hair and that is what i'm doing right here you guys so just watch me as i do this
so now i'm going to be showing you the second method so you have to pass your crochet pin through your natural hair i went ahead to unravel the twist then crochet it through my natural hair and start twisting before you start twisting you want to make sure the the length of the hair are equal so when you twist to the wrong direction it is the twist is not going to come out nice like as it's supposed to so all you have to do is just unravel the twist and twist to the opposite direction so that was what i did and this is bomb can you see how it's looking like it's all looking gorgeous you guys so i'm just going to go ahead and finish crocheting the rest of my hair you guys and all the details about this hair is on the description box below you guys you want to make sure you go ahead and check them out like this hair store right now is currently having a very big sale on their website so when you purchase this hair right now you're going to get a lot of discounts you guys so yeah can you see how my hair is looking like so if you watch this video to this very point and you have not subscribed to my channel like what are you still waiting for you want to go ahead and hit on that subscribe button down below and also turn on your notification bell so that way you're gonna be notified whenever i upload a new video and you will come and check your get out like you guys go ahead and subscribe comment like i want to see your comments on what hairstyle you want me to make next and I will come through you guys so you guys as you can see I only have two hair left so here is the end of five, five packs now taking my six packs I just only have to use only two strands of hair out of the six packs so let's just say I achieved this hairstyle with just five packs of hair you guys that is amazing can you see how my hair is all looking gorgeous right now and i love my hair you guys so now that i'm done with my hair this is how my hair is currently looking like like you can go ahead and style your hair however you want i always love going for half up half down like that is my my favorite style like can you see this hair it is so so full it is so cute i also went ahead and put on some hair accessories you guys so yeah this is all for today's video if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up like share comment on what you want to see next and what you think about this day bye